What's up? What's up, everybody? Tanika Maria here. We are here again, yet again. How have you been feeling? How have things been going for you? I am so glad to be back out here again with my next installment. So those of you who have been following me in the journey, you've been listening in, you've been dialed in. I hope and pray that this has been a blessing to you. Definitely let me know. Send me an inbox, an email, an inbox on Instagram at Tanika.Maria or uh, send me an email, Tanika at TanikaBreen.com. Leave a review on the podcast. Tag me. Just share this out. Let me know how you've been feeling about this series. And, excuse me, and we are right here on the cusp of Thanksgiving. This is Thanksgiving week. And, you know, we have a lot to be thankful for in spite of everything that's going on in the world. And as we come into Thanksgiving, I just want you to, you know, we're at the end of the year. And that's what this whole series has been about. Also, we're just going to dive right in. And we got this particular chapter, for those of you who've been following along, you know that we've been doing A Woman's Journey Home, um, teaching nuggets out of my book. And you've been following me along, A Woman's Journey Home, 14 Keys to Ascending to the Next Dimension. And now we've come up into chapter five, which is, you know, this chapter is saying quite a bit, right? And I'm only going to hit the highlights because it's a heavy hitter. We're dealing with Pride, the old, sneaky, subtle spirit of pride and its twin component, which is fear. And I believe pride is what keeps us back from all of the kingdom collaborations, partnerships, friendships, and relationships. It's our pride and our fear that keeps us from the blessing and the breakthrough that we've been praying for. Let's dive into this. I love this quote by Andrew Murray. And he says, pride must die in you or nothing of heaven can live in you. Mm. And I write here, and again, we're in chapter five of A Woman's Journey Home. So you want to make sure you get this. It says we go low because we got to go low so that we can go high, right? And that's the thing about pride. You know, it always comes before a fall. So we may as well, may as well humble ourselves from the beginning. The thing about pride is that it is so pervasive and frightening. For lack of a better word, you can be prideful and not truly aware of it. And I look back on my life. Every time I've, quote, fallen in small or big ways, somewhere along the line, if I do a careful and honest inventory of myself, the sequence of events, the thoughts and behaviors that led up to the situation, I am 100% certain that old sneaky, subtle spirit of pride was in operation. It slips and dips through so many variations and subtleties of manifestations, right? It can show up in this and trying to run out ahead of God and trying to make things happen in your own strength, right? It can morph into comparing and competing with others instead of functioning in the spirit of true collaboration. Pride can show up as needing to be seen and puffed up and validated and affirmed externally based on your works and your efforts instead of just being affirmed for who you are as a a child of God. It can turn, pride looks like that Lone Ranger syndrome of being unwilling to receive community and connection because of the erroneous and prideful belief that you can do it all alone and therefore get all of the credit. Oh, that's right. The Lone Ranger symptom, I don't need people. I I don't want to get too far into this. (laughs) But let me keep reading from this book, from my book here. Many friendships have been forfeited and lost because of pride and insecurity. Many friendships have been forfeited and lost because of pride and insecurity. I'll just let that sit. Many things could have advanced the kingdom of God and his purposes for our lives if we had listened to the voice of faith and love instead of the voice of accusation, pride, and fear. How much further would we be along if we weren't so prideful? I'm stepping on my own toes. And on the other hand, 
Pride can keep you in the wrong relationships for too long. Pride was one of the factors that kept me in a dead end relationship. This was a romantic relationship because I was too prideful to admit that I didn't hear from God. Everybody else could see that that situation was whack. But my pride, when I saw it, I still kept trying to make it work. Come on. Pride is costly. Pride is costly. Pride can cause us to inadvertently delay breakthroughs, blessings, and benefits, all because of being too proud to receive the help and wise counsel that holds the key to our next level. Let me say this one again. Pride can cause us to inadvertently delay breakthroughs, blessings, and benefits, all because of being too proud to receive the help and wise counsel that holds the key to our next level. Pride shows up as fear of what people think so much that one is willing to go to the extreme of pretending that they have it all together when they don't. It's pride that makes us pull back from getting help. It's pride that causes us to hide. It's pride. Pride, shame, fear, and insecurity. They all work hand in hand. They're, they're right. If, you, they're, if there's some pride, there's likely insecurity. There's some shame caught up in there. And there's fear, a lot of fear. They all work together. And how much blessing and how much breakthrough have we forfeited because we don't even want to receive wise counsel. We don't want people to know our business. We don't want people to see our mess. We're so fearful of being judged. And that's real. That is so real. I get that. I don't want to be judged. I don't want to be criticized. I don't want to be looked at harshly. I don't want somebody to dissect my stuff and tell me everything that I'm doing wrong or right and what I need to do. That can hurt. So it depends on who are you asking? Who is in your corner? Who do you trust that can tell you the truth and that you can suck it up and swallow it, not get so in your feelings and in your pride that you won't receive it? Who, who is in your life like that? Oh, this is tight, but right. Pride. We must let it go. We have to go low first before we can go high. And it's like we got to humble ourselves. We got to humble ourselves and let go of the pride. If I want to come up higher in 2023, then some of the things that held me back, the pride that held me back in 2022 when I was struggling, when I'm anxious, when I don't want people to know what I'm going through, I got to let that go. We can't take that with us into 2023. Pride, we got to let it go. We must go low so that we can come up higher. As we close this out, see, this was a heavy one today. and I, I, This is a lot to sit with. I want you to ask yourself these questions. What problems or situations have risen in your life that could have been easily resolved if you swallowed your pride and allowed someone to help you? Are there any cares and concerns that you have right now that you have not truly cast on God but are hold, still holding on emotionally and spiritually, trying to figure out a solution in your own mind because you mistrust the goodness of God and your own pride. What connections and friendships may have been forfeited because of insecurity and pride? You prayed for an opportunity. You prayed for help. You prayed for God to send you the right people and the right connections. And then he sent it to you. And then all of a sudden you started feeling some kind of way and feeling all funny and insecure and weird and anxious. And you started backtracking and acting weird. What did that cost you? Come on. Pride. We got to let it go. We got to let it go before we ascend to the next dimension in 2023. That's it for today because this was a heavy one. So I want you to sit with it. And if you have not grabbed your copy of A Woman's Journey Home, 
Go ahead and grab your copy. This is Thanksgiving week. We're coming out, you know, Black Friday, all of the things. So it's at a reduced price this week. So be sure to grab your copy. It's available on Kindle, on Amazon, on paperback with Amazon. You can also get a personally signed copy through my website. All of the links are there for your convenience. Click it and be sure to grab your copy. And let's go into 2023 stronger, healthier, more emotionally resilient, and letting go of the pride that so easily besets us. I'm Tanika, and I'll be back out here again soon. Take care.